Okay, uh, this is another powerful message from Bicknell Young, uh, CSB, The Right Sense of God. Uh, it was uh, originally published in the Illinois State Register and then republished in um, the Christian Science Sentinel. A really great um, reminder as to there is only one God and, and uh, only one man in his image and likeness, and we are spiritual. You definitely should check it out. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. No matter how uncertain, finite, or inadequate may be the terms used to explain him, or how sacrilegious or idolatrous the mortal mind pictures may be that seek to satisfy human desire and finite senses by making a god in the image of man. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. If God is not spirit, what is he? Matter? If God is not mind or intelligence, what is he? Non-intelligence? If God is not principle and law, what is he? Chance and lawlessness? If God is not life, what is he? All Christians agree upon the fact that God is infinite, that he is good, and being infinite, he is necessarily infinite good. For the same reason, he is infinite life. Christian scientists accept the statement of St. John that God is love, and therefore infinite love. They cannot conceive of the omnipresence or omniscience of a God in a human form or like a divine man. Deity is self-existent, an eternal entity. To make a mental image of God under the excuse that we must have a thinkable God is as idolatrous as it would be to make an image of wood or stone. Our textbook says, the everlasting I am is not bounded nor compressed within the narrow limits of physical humanity, nor can he be understood or right through mortal concepts. The precise form of God must be of small importance when compared with the sublime question, what is infinite mind or divine love? No form or physical combination is adequate to represent infinite love. A finite and material sense of God leads to formalism and narrowness and freezes the heart of Christianity. At Science and Health, page 256. To think of God as life, truth, love is not indeterminate thinking, except to that condition of mind which sees everything materially and endeavors to understand everything from the standpoint of matter. One who has learned to heal the sick through the understanding of Christian science does not think of God indeterminately. On the contrary, his thought about God has been clarified by Christian science study and practice. The man created in the image and likeness of God is like good, like mind, like spirit, like love. The condition of error, which includes the belief in all evil as being just, as real and powerful as God, and which is filled with sin, sickness, and death, even if it be called man, is not the real man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. With kindliest feelings towards all who are seeking the truth, Christian scientists must continue to assail the material conception of God. They must continue to point out the fallacy of trying to picture the infinite, and they must still declare that God is spirit, and man, his image and likeness, is spiritual. Mm -hmm.